Hi, this is Tyler with Swiss Spirit, mobile boat detailing. And today we're out here at South Lake Union, getting ready to do a full detail ceramic coat on a $1.2 million 48 foot navigator. Right now I'm doing a low pressure wash, just rinsing everything down before I apply the soap. So right now we're just drying off the boat. Uh, we're gonna prep it, get it ready for our first stage of buffing. So after washing it, we wanna remove all the water off the windows right away with the sun, especially the sun being out like this, cause then that's what bakes it and creates water spots. So right now we're on step two. Uh, we're prepping the boat before we do our first buffing. So we mask off all the moldings, all the chrome pieces, so that way when we're buffing, you know, the, the pad doesn't hit it and can cause, you know, damage. And then also we're gonna go around uh, removing any scuff marks, overspray, things that are stuck on the body. So right now we're on stage three. We're using a, a wool pad on a rotary buffer. You see we have everything masked off. It's all prepped, ready to go. I'm using this floating dock so I can get the bow. Yeah, get this going. All right guys, so right now we're on stage four. We're using a yellow pad with a medium cutter. And what this is stage is for is to correct the heavy compound that we used earlier to remove the oxidation. So this kind of just brightens it up, takes out the swirl marks and whatnot. And then uh, after this, then we'll go on to our next stage with uh, the polishing. So our next step is to do a polishing. In a polisher, I'm using a DA Flex Buffer. It removes any holograms, any swirl marks that could be caused from the rotary buffer from, from previous. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. It's our last step before we enter the prepping for a ceramic coat. We're done with all the buffing. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna prep it for ceramic coating. And the first thing we do is, I got a bucket of Dawn soap with some terry cloths. And we're just gonna rinse it down real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna rub it with some rubbing alcohol, uh, just to remove any oils that, are, uh, that still are on the body. Just removing any dust, anything that's on the body. So now that we washed it one last time, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some rubbing alcohol on the body. What it does is it removes all the oils. And once I'm done with it, you should feel like a squeaky. It should make a squeaky noise. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. So now that I did the alcohol, you can hear it's squeaky. There's no, there's no oils, there's nothing on here. So now it's fully prepped and ready to go for the ceramic coat. All right, so the final stage is the ceramic coat. 
And I use Glycoat. I really like their products. It really goes a long ways. All you need is just a little drop, just like that. And you go about two feet, I put another drop, about two feet. And you just go in circular motion. All the way down. And then I'll go up and down to make sure it covers the whole surface, side to side. And then I'll just keep going down. Now I'll leave that there. And it's, when it's warm out like this, give it about two minutes for it to cure, dry. And then you come back and wipe it. So I'll just keep going up and down side to side. I'll overlap, that way I don't, I don't miss any spots. If you do this properly, it lasts you up to three years. It's all about the prep. Making sure you get the prep done properly. Don't skip any steps. Okay, so this is the second time that we've gone through and done ceramic coating. Uh, first time was... Almost two years ago. Yeah, actually it was over two years ago. Um, it, and, uh, it, you know, the problem is, is it got wet. And I think that probably, well, it, I know it didn't cure all the way, but it really did an excellent job of really standing up. Yeah. Uh, it drove down costs as far as having to, we always used to do a wax in the beginning of the season and the end of the season. So I've added up, we're still money ahead, no question about it. I'm super excited uh, to have Swift be doing this work on it. A, the weather's great, uh, so we know that it'll be able to cure for a good seven days plus, uh, and we'll just be keeping the water off of it. But the other one is that, you know, their three-step process is they're bringing it up. Uh, it looks outstanding, and I think, obviously, it's the work that they did, but, but I'm also seeing the benefits of having the second time, second round through, Mm -hmm. with ceramic uh, because you know obviously it fills those pores it's less porous so when they go through and even when they do the buff on it and, and the cut uh, you still have that so I think as we continue to build it up over the years and, and this is a uh, warranted for 24 months uh, hopefully right. we, we gave them more but I think we're starting to see as it continues to build it just gets more of a sheen to it a lot just of good classy. yeah Glassy. You feel it and it just, it almost feels like glass. Yeah. So it's got a lot of depth to it. Uh, we're excited. I think it's going to really pay off. And, and like I said, it pays off on the return on investment because you're not having to do your wax at the beginning and end of the season. Uh, it just looks sharper. You don't have to invest in salt away. You can just hose it off when you get to a marina after you've been out and about cruising. Yeah. The maintenance is just lower. There's no yeah. question about it. And it lasts longer and the boat looks better. Mm -hmm.